I, I've been a high school counselor, I was a high school counselor for about 40 years, I retired three years ago, and um, there's, there's so much potential out there. There's so many, most of my time has been spent with uh, at-risk, dropout gang kids. You know, I always figured that, well I saw it, the kids that were operating at the A through G level, they had all the resources. They, had the, they were getting the best teachers and IB, AP and all that kind of stuff. The kids that were getting kicked out, they weren't getting anything except una patada pa fuera, you know. So I says, no, that's what I'm going to... They don't like me in my district because I, I fight everybody in the district. When I retired, um, I wouldn't let them throw me a party because I said, you know what, every day was a battle. So why am I going to sit down with you and cut a piece of cake when you made life miserable for the people that we're supposed to be helping? Okay, so no cake. <laughs> okay. Um, I, right now, uh, I've been retired. I, I work at adult school, counseling young adults that didn't quite make it through high school. I teach uh, uh, La Familia Mexicana Chicana en Literatura at a local high school with mostly at-risk kids. It's a credit recovery program. I've adopted um, a college academy type high school where the students, uh, in addition to their diploma, are, are getting all their A through G requirements, their AA degree, and they're going, when they graduate from high school, they're going upper division at four-year colleges and universities. And so the reason I took that, that high school on is because more than 50% of that high school is, is uh, Raza, and they don't have a counselor. And I go, you know what, if, if we let that high school fail, they're going to say, see, dumb Mexicans. So I said, no, no, no. The kids have the ability, they have the parent support, but they don't have the administration support, so I'm going to donate my time and take that high school on and make sure that it works.